Alright, welcome to your seventh iOS application tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you one way to implement a UI web view. So we're going to choose a single view application. I'll name mine UI web view. And we'll create. Let's head over to our main storyboard and here we're going to go into our objects library down to this little compass like thing that is UI web view and we'll just place it on our view controller now we'll head over to the assistant editor and let's go to view.h we're gonna drag UI web view create an outlet web view and everything else here is good so we'll connect and next we'll go to viewcontroller.m and we're gonna load the URL so first we say NS URL and then we'll put an asterisk because it's an object URL equals NS URL URL with string and let's go to Google HTTP slash slash google.com and the next thing we need to do is a URL request so we'll say NS URL request uh, request I guess equals NS URL request request with URL and we just loaded a URL so we'll enter that and last we say web view load request request and that should just about do it so let's click run alright so here's our window and you can see we have Google right here and it's loading a little slow because of my internet but it's working pretty good Let's say we search GGG, I guess that's a stock. And we've got the whole web view, but what if we want to go back or forward? Because right now we can't do any of that. Um, and also, this uh, the status bar is blocked out a little by the web view, so let's just tweak it a little bit. We'll go over to main storyboard, and we'll go right below the status bar, and then we're going to drag this a little higher and we're going to put a toolbar in there because toolbars were made for web views I don't know if they actually were but they work really well together so we have these buttons right here and it's a toolbar button so we'll just drag them put it right there and they space themselves out by uh, like on their own so I don't even have to worry about that even when I rename them I'm going to name this one back name this one forward see how they space themselves out name this one refresh and name this one cancel I'll name it stop refresh and so now I have four buttons and I'm gonna click on my back button and I'll connect it to the web view and there's already actions that it can do and that's why it's really awesome with web view and these toolbar buttons so I'll connect back with go back I'll connect forward with go forward and so on for refresh oops for refresh and stop refresh so before we run this again we're gonna go to iPhone retina 4 inch because of the size of this screen is made for the 4 inch and with the 3.5 inch the toolbar might get lost so we'll run it with this and here we have our toolbar search GG back forward work great I can refresh and stop refresh so it all works good and this is how you can implement a UI web view in your application thanks for watching